Watch it close up this way. There you go. Hey, that's a good idea. You probably see it better there. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I do. It's half the distance. <laughs> yeah, he's so, recording that. Does it matter which color is the bottom? Mm -hmm. Light on the bottom, dark on the top. Yeah, always light on the bottom. That's not the same white marabou I brought. Yeah. Well, you can use whatever color. Oh, okay. When you have yeah. this much black. Yeah. You can do whatever. I, I mean, we, <laughs> we followed what was on your instructions. Yeah, yeah. We, That's for you people. good boys. <laughs> we're Catholic boys. And he knew a stray already. Oh, and the coach yeah. can do, do whatever hell he wants. Black works better, I think. So why'd you tell us to bring white if we're, black works better? Because everybody has white. <laughs> I don't. I had to work hard for that one. I have more black than white. That's one of the few things I have at home is marabou. My, a, a buddy of mine's father-in-law passed away, and he got all his stuff. I don't know what I got. This was this was part of it. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah the, obviously, the he was a dentist, so he made this. Oh yeah. And uh, and then I got. Oh, I tried salt water, so I got all these feathers. I don't know what they are. Embroidery. Yeah. You know, Yep. And this is split in half. Oh, wow. Yeah. And threads and you know, on and on. Yeah. I went into a hardware store in Campbell River. Yeah. And we were up there on that one outing and I asked them if they had any polar bear. And he said, Well, I think so. <laughs> this hardware store was so old that they had a wooden threshold at the door and it was like this. <laughs> and so he went in the back room and he started rooting through stuff and he found boxes of polar bear hair. <laughs> so I brought a bunch of them back. That's cool. Yeah. All covered with dust. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I was up in Canada and then, uh, and uh, anyway, I ended up buying some polar bear hair. And so the guy takes me aside because he could tell I was wasn't too sharp, and he says, first of all, let's let's wrap rip off all the <laughs> markings, and if you get stopped at the border, tell them it's Jack here, you know. That's so they're not saying they're too bright; and they're doing it on the video. Never. Oh no! Better restart. This looks better than mine, of course. No, it no, does. It, it's, just, it's just, I'm saying it looks tricky. It's like okay. making lanyards at camp. It's real easy. Easy for you to say. Yeah. I mean, you guys have been doing this your whole damn life. Does it Does it matter whether you go right over left or left over right when you... No. Well... I still don't understand how you get one color on top and the other one on the bottom. Because I'm twisting to the front. like this. Uh, the over I twist it over top of each other. It See, now I got one on top, one on bottom. Yeah, so so instead of wrapping it the, like this, wanna I'm going to twist keep it. Keep the yellow from. Oh! And then fold it over. And you're going to keep it tight. Is that like, kind of like twist and shout? Pretty much. Ow! Son of a bitch, that hurt! There's a hook there. So it makes it more balanced if you always put the yellow in front of the brown when you, when you go back the other way. Because all you're doing is crossing over. Yeah. And you're laying the brown on the oh. top and the yellow on the bottom. Then you cross it This over is one you might buy, Mike. It's not, it's <laughs> not a hard one to buy. Once you, once you go, understand the concept. The yeah. I go pretty far up. I'm all, I go almost up but to the beat. But it still takes okay, a little so bit of dexterity. Do do right? it's it's a little bit, yeah. You can tie it off. Just with each other? No, you, you yeah, tie your thread back on. I mean, it's good just to put a hook in and try a few bottles. Yeah. And then when you get yeah, it, nice. put all your thing around. Oh, so the brown never goes down. <laughs> no, brown never goes down. And what, what do you call this? Weaving? Mm hmm. Woven, woven caddis. I'm weaving it pretty much. You know how to do this, Mike? Um, 
I haven't done this. I've done. I make a couple other bottles. Find your braiding, which is somewhat. There's a couple of crochet hooks. I understand yeah. the principle. Oh. Crochet hooks, yeah. I'm not sure my grandma taught me how to crochet even those little nice. things. Oh, is that Mine's right? not that I even. I put it in my slides. You might. Some really killer bodies. The only thing You're I Mike. remember, my grandmother yeah. taught me how to play bridge. <laughs> I would. I know. I was about six or seven years old. I stand beside her and watch her playing the style. She tell me what she was doing. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. No way. Cards is a good thing. They look like they can get up and fly off the table. Remember, it's called the Bitch Creek Nymph. I've heard of it. Yeah, that. I knew that girl. That was one of the first woven ones I ever saw. It was with Shania. Kind of orange and brown is the stone farm. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, they make the chenille now with the, both colors in it. You don't have to leave it. Right. You just wrap it on. Just make it stone and go. Well, that's cheating using that thing. <laughs> no, it's called intelligence. <laughs> Well, it's, it's What's the name of that okay. tool? It's not, Clamp? It's, for my first it's a hackle plier. A what? Hackle plier. Oh. It's pretty darn good. Oh, I got one of those. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's older than the hills, but it, yeah. Actually, I can do it over because I They're not age sensitive. <laughs> like us. <yeah. laughs> oh, my God. Now, you put that marabou body on and you wrap it all the way up in that. Was that just to give it some body? Yeah, yeah. that's just to thicken so it up. To make the body so it's tapered. And some yeah, hair. You pretty much covered it all up. Oh, yeah. Well, you don't even see it, so you could use anything, really. Mm -hmm. I just like marabou because it's cheap. And it it's cheaper than thread. Body. It makes a good, tight body, too. It takes a lot less marabou than it would thread. Huh. Yeah. Well, yeah. And it don't slip once you tie it in. It's there. It's it's like bolt. Marabou is one of the actual one of the only feathers you could actually boil, and you won't hurt it. What part of the bird does that come from? Turkey's butt. Turkey butt. The rump? Yeah. I remember, I don't want to tell you how many years ago this was, but their advertisements were that marabou was outlawed in some states because it caught too many fish. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. But they don't outlaw power bait. <laughs> No, but partridge. they no, but they do uh, WD-40. <laughs> That's chumming. Mm. It, it is. Could you use like fish oil? I know. What does it do? It's WD made out of fish oil. It's made out of fish oil. Oh, so yeah. people spray it on their lures. Spray, you spray it on their well, yeah. not well, yeah, anything. You yeah. put, spray it on your bait, but you know what it's you know what it stands for? Yeah. Wire display for forty times. Forty attempt. Yep. He tried 30, 39 times before he got it right. Just like Einstein on the light bulb. Yeah. 2000. <laughs> Walt Disney, 140 times to the bank saying, no, we won't lend you the money for that dumb Disneyland. Is that right? Yep. <laughs> well, you see where that gator got that little guy? Yeah, yeah. in Orlando. Didn't, yeah. didn't eat him, didn't do anything, just drowned he him. He killed him, he killed just, him. Just drowned him. Didn't do anything. I was, I yeah, was trying, that's horrible. I was trying to do this soft drink one What's time. What's really you know, horrible is they you know, killed five gators trying to find the one that killed them. Well, I right? guess well, I was reading that they have an, it's um, any that they catch on their property they kill all, anyway. So, but it's man-made. 